Hi YouTube, how are you? Today I'm back with another video on Mastercam tips and our topic today is how we can um, select the entry point for the contour toolpath quickly. Okay, the tip is how to select quickly. Okay, and you can see on screen I have an example. I have a few pocket like this and I have also created the entry point for extra pocket you can see here this point this point this point this point these are point as I want to to make the entry point for, for the pocket uh, for the contour okay and in this video I'm not talking about the pocket tool pad because uh, the entry point is very simple for the pocket but with the contour tool pad is a little bit uh, difficult I will show you for example I want to select this point to be the entry point for this contour I can click on the contour tool pad and select the chain and then select the point and the lead in and lead out I activate the U entry point and U exit point that allows Mastercam select the point a point to be the entry and exit point for the tool path okay and you can see this is the contour tool path but the problem is Mastercam did not recognize this point at the entry point why? because in the contour tool path Uh, you should, uh, you must uh, arrange the, the point and the chain in uh, the right order. So the point must be the first, then the chain. The chain will be followed at the point, not the reverse. So if you want to make the chain point two to be the entry point for the chain one, the chain, the chain one should must be follow, must be must follow. The, ch the chain point. In other words, the point must be in front of the chain like this. This is the right order. And you can see after I reorder the, the, the point in the chain, you can see Master can recognize this point at the entry point, and I have entry point here and exit point. So that's not too too uh, complicated, but the question is, how about if we have a lot of pocket? How about uh, 100 pocket or even more? 100 contour and 100 point or even more? What should you do? This is the normal way you would do. Uh, you select. You can select the chain first, then you select the point. And then you got the chain in the in the top and the, the point in the bottom, and you do a manual arrangement like this. That take a lot of time. You can see it's just a few pocket. How about if you have a lot of pocket? You can you cannot do this way. It take a lot of time. Okay. You can do like this. Uh, you select the point and then you. Select the chain and then point and then a chain and then a point and then a chain point and oh sorry uh, chain and then point and chain and and point and chain yes uh, select a uh, thing chain like this. Um, you stop the chain, but uh, it's not much better because you still take a lot of time to do the the work. So I will show you how to do it quickly. Okay. For example, I will I will create another tool pad. You can see. I have an entry point for the contour 
but that takes a lot of time. So we do another way and create another tool pad and I will set the point first and then I click on the future, change future here, you select all in point on the screen and then I go to the chain, select it circle and click on the chain fusion to select all the chain like this and again I click on the rectangular pocket and click on the chain fusion again so I had the point and the chain selected and then I am gonna click on OK let's see what happened let's see what we got here oh that's not good you can see the point go with the point and the chain go with the chain that's not what we want right really bad we have a quick select the entity but we haven't arranged them so this is a good way right so how to, to select uh, the right way okay I will select say train all here and I can the tip is you should activate one special option you can go to the chaining option button here and looking for the nest nest the chain here and the standard sorting of master game in next close closest that's mean when we select uh, uh, a nest nest chain uh, the chain will be ordered in the uh, the distance between the chains so I will change this to optimize inside to outside if you don't know what this means click on the question button here and then go to the field definition scroll down to the nest chain like this and click on the sorting you will know what's the optimal inside to outside okay this is the tip by selecting this option you will see the difference okay I will do the same I will select chain first click on the chain future to select the circular contour and then I select the rectangular contour and click on the chain future again and then I click on the point click on the chain future to select on point and then I'm gonna click on OK button so you can see the point and the chain are sorted in the right way I will show you as you can see we have another point here we don't use this point so we can delete it this is the uh, let me check can see that and we have this point we don't use chain point 28 you can delete it and you can see what happened okay. this contour is correct this one is correct and this one is correct this one is correct and this one is correct also you can see so I have shown you the quick way to do with the chain option. Okay, I can do it again. Contour. Again. Select the point first. Whatever you want. 
to the chain. Okay. And the chain again. Okay. Ping. Ping. Yes. We can delete the unused point. Yes, this is a point, chain point one. We don't use this point. Because this is not the entry point for the work pocket. We can delete it. Okay. And you can see the point in the chain uh, in the right order. See that? Very simple. Okay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.